All right, here we go. NBA East preview, and I got my dogs in here. My guy, Jarrell Harris, Sports Illustrated's finest. What's good, bro? Welcome back. What's good, man? Thanks for having me. I had to. I had to get you back on for this one, and I definitely had to get you on for this one. Well, hello. <laughs> in particular, <laughs> the young Nets fan in the building. What stressed, up, bro? Stressed Nets fan, losing my hair, <laughs> young age. <laughs> hey, before oh. we get into it, I got, uh, I got something for Jarrell. Cause, oh, gifts? Yeah, I got gifts, oh, man. man. I like doing this shit on camera because then I could clip it. But these are for you. Oh, man. Two I sweaters. You. Oh, You've man. done a lot for the show by not even trying to do a lot for the show. But having you on last time led to me getting some other people on. And it's it's cool, man. And I appreciate it. There's yeah, also I like a, you. I think something might have might have dropped yeah that card over there there's just oh, a a little note if you want to just check it oh, out and read got, it <laughs> he's got yeah. the juice yeah he does have the no juice, juice but jarell juice howard no but what, what's that card say bro <laughs> size nine and a half fam i got you I yeah got you. you know he comes you. here jarell juice harris in the <laughs> i kind of like that name <laughs> i would just want to say can i say one thing yeah good um when jarell walked in he was offered a bottle of water <laughs> i got nothing <laughs> then he was offered the headphones before me and he's got gifts. I mean, I'm sitting here and there's nothing for me. I'm going. This is the best podcast ever. <laughs> yo, that, that's hilarious. That's really good, man. That's really good. But yo, um, Dill, real quick before we get into this, because there's a lot to discuss. What do you think Jarrell owes us? 5%, 10% for... I'm just saying, he comes on the pod, then he's interviewing Zion, Jamal Murray. He got his own show. You know, yeah. we got the juice here uh, too, bro. I mean, he's yeah, got I'm the just... sneakers before they come out. <laughs> it's, you, you can't ask for five or ten. You got to meet oh, somewhere in the man. middle, you know? He, he has your dream job. Yeah, he, he really does. <laughs> it's crazy. He really does. He really <laughs> does. Oh, man. Yo, there's not a bigger sneakerhead I know than him. I know. And, I know. and every time, like, you'll post, like, oh, thanks, mm -hmm. uh, whoever it might be, like, the new Puma shits or whatever it might be, Nike's, Jordan's coming out early. We'll just, we'll <laughs> just send, a message we'll like. send, we'll send your tweet to each other. And he's like, this motherfucker. Yeah, like, he used to be like, his brother, Ty. He's like, yo, Jarrell did it again, man. <laughs> like, what, is, what is it now? Oh, man. Nah, yo, how'd you like them? What was that show about real quick that you were doing with Sports Illustrated? Uh, I know you guys just wrapped up the first season, right? Yeah, Lace is out. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, we wanted to do another. I did a sneaker show in the past mm -hmm. at SI, but like it wasn't produced right. It wasn't just like the right timing. Mm -hmm. So this time around, we actually had like more talent. Like it was like me. Um, we had, we added Ashley Nicole Moss. She's like a big Knicks fan, super fan, but she's like a great host as well. Um, and all of our producers were black as well. So we like brought culture to the show. Yeah. Um, to SI, and we worked with the right people. We got sponsored by the NBA. So. It was pretty awesome, like, doing that show for, like, seven to eight weeks. And we're trying to come back for uh, season two in January, so we'll see. Nice, man. Nice. Keep up the good work. I'm sure they'll, they'll bring that shit back. And, you know, don't forget, we're over here, too, if you uh, have some extra <laughs> extra perks you can swing this way. We'll be over there like the cup. The homeless Spare people underneath this page, yeah, please. <laughs> All right, yo, look. This is the East preview. Um, I do this every year. I'm a, I'm a degenerate. I like using gambling. So I always thought of a cool way to be able to touch on like the Pistons is just mention what their win total. The win total is basically what the sports books think they're going to do. And with each one, I'll introduce the win total and then we'll just chat about the team, give a little preview. Uh, the East in particular is very interesting because I think, and Jarrell, tell me how you feel about this. I think the East, the top of the East is stronger than the top of the West. However, the West, the depth, like the West got ten teams that can yeah. make the playoffs, mm -hmm. and I know eight make the team, eight make the playoffs in the East. But like, the Mavericks will be like a seven seed, and you're like, yo, you know, they were up two zero oh, yeah. on the Clippers, yeah. right? So like, there's more talent there. How do you feel about that? Yeah, take? I definitely agree. Uh, the West has always been stacked. <laughs> you seen it in the play in certainly like last year with uh, well, not last year. The way the NBA works this three seasons into like one year, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Um, but you see them with like the Lakers and the Warriors, like playing in that game is like, how is that possible? Yeah. Um, and the Eastern Conference, you know, like any team could make it, like if they play hard or, or whatever. But I don't know. What about you? Uh, what he yeah, the East is top heavier. But see how he said any team could play hard. You could have like the Hornets, you know, get in exactly. the eight seed. So if yeah, he's right. If you play hard, it's funny you mentioned that the play-in game was the Lakers and. The Warriors. the Warriors. The Warriors. And that's like the marquee matchup night one of the 
of the season start. You know, it's it's pretty yep. funny. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like the the interesting thing about the East is, you know, the the two teams at the top, Brooklyn and and Milwaukee. I feel like I want to start with Milwaukee because I want to show them love for winning the title last year. Mm-hmm. And I kind of have a take, a strong take on them. So, like, their win total is 55 and a half. It's second to the Nets. We'll get to the Nets <laughs> after. But they haven't. Yeah, I know you have a lot to <laughs> say. That's why he's alive. <laughs> he was pouring his heart yeah. out before you stepped in before. <laughs> so, yo, it's 55 and a half. Is it possible that the Bucks could be better than they were last year? Because they haven't lost anyone. Mm-hmm. They're going to get DiVincenzo back. And he was a big part of them. Like, I remember when he got hurt, they are like, yo, DiVincenzo. Yeah. And at first, they're like, DiVincenzo? And then you realize, like, all the, the points does, per 100 possessions and shit. Like, he he's a big all the part. little stuff that you don't see. Yeah, yeah. The shit that don't appear mm-hmm. on the box score. Giannis, I watched a compilation in the preseason. He's, like, perfect in mid-range, just pulling up jump shots. <laughs> like, yeah. why? <laughs> yeah, we were talking about this before. Literally, then. why? New, like that was the one thing that everyone was critical about him right like mm-hmm. yo if he develops a jump shot it's a wrap and if he could just be like a 28 percent three-point shooter mm-hmm. enough that you got to respect him mm-hmm. yeah sky's the limit for him mm-hmm. so i also think and then jarell tell me your thoughts on the bucks i feel like this is the the, the fuck you season from them because mm-hmm. a lot of people are like you only won the ring because lebron got hurt um uh, Jamal Murray's hurt, Harden and, and, and Kyrie, and then Trey Young missed a game in that series, too. It's like, yo, you got gifted this title. I mean, that happens, like, every year. There's a little luck with, like, every title. It happened with the Raptors, you know? Like, KD went right. down, um, Clay Thompson went down. So yeah. you can say that about, like, every single year. You can find something. That's fair. Um, I don't know if they're going to be better than last year. Um, that's a lot to say. Uh, they lost P.J., like that's right big yeah. loss big loss right there um we went to the heat and that's another team that i'm like everyone's like kind of sleeping on they like deep but we'll get to them soon yeah, but yeah, uh yeah. like if Giannis like keeps developing like that jump shot and like they could like go really really far again but my money's on the nets still mm. so what do you think about milwaukee uh i think they got worse because they lost pj mm. They're still obviously an elite team, and they could still win. You Especially- know, you know what's funny about PJ Tucker? He he was the Durant stopper, I, and I Durant was going ape shit. No, but <laughs> but you need someone that's like that annoys people. Though. The right. games, you need someone yeah, like the yeah, games yeah. at home, Durant had like great, really great games. But the road games, I feel like Tucker had his way sometimes with that matchup. It'd be hard for Durant to get the ball, and sometimes that's just the difference. Making mm-hmm. a guy work harder to yeah. get the ball, you know. Yeah, like you're not gonna stop Kevin Durant. No one on earth. Exactly. Yeah. But like you know, towards like the end of the game, he's probably gonna be more tired. If yeah. He's like, and just it. annoying him, like yeah. you said, right? Mm-hmm. Like there's always that dude at the park. You're like, fuck, why do I gotta play against this guy? Because <laughs> exactly. he, he either hacks or something. Is is some shit like that? What do you think? Um, what do you think about the the fu season from them though? Do you do you feel like they get discredited? I feel like they do a little bit because they're like deep. They, you know, Drew Holiday, uh, Chris Middleton, people don't talk about him enough. Ever, like, yeah. He was buckets in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. And like he stepped up big time. Like during like, I think it was against the Nets. Like they started off like horrible. Him mm-hmm. and Drew, they was like nowhere to be found. But Well, I remember talking about how there'd be games where them two would go like 12 or 48. Yeah. That was the first, like, yeah, mm-hmm. the first two games. I don't think they hit uh, hit a three for real. Yeah, <laughs> seventeen of forty seven. Mm-hmm. And you're like, yo, you can, can can you guys just hit like forty percent of Something, your shots? Yeah. Yeah. And then when they started doing that, they were winning those games. But Middleton, he's like clutch, like when you need it the most. They're running and the offense through him at the end. They, exactly, like that's what they need because you know Giannis is not known as like that closer he's, or shooter. He's there. I, he's I there. took flack for saying that he was the best player on that team for a little bit. Ah, uh, well, you bugging, but. Uh, <laughs> Bucket. Yeah, I mean, you are yeah, too there. far. But I would say when you guys need a bucket at the end of the game, you're giving the ball to yeah. him, you know? All right, from that standpoint, that's fair. And that's why I would say it. I was like, come on. Like, he's literally, like, he's their go-to guy, really. <laughs> I remember I came on the pod and I was like, yeah, I don't know if I would want to build around Giannis because there were times where, like, he would pass up the ball and just, like, shit like that. Like, it didn't seem like he was very alpha. Next game, drop 50. No, yeah, he's, he's a monster, bro. Like, is, he, he's certified he's that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you guys think the Bucks could be, like, a... Uh, 55 and a half wins. Do you think they would go over that? What do you think, though? I don't know if I'd go over. <sighs> Man, that's a good one. I, fe- they, they I don't sh- think so. Yo, they strike but it's me possible. As a, they strike me as a team that want to just, like, get it. Let's just get in healthy because we've been there, yeah. done that mm-hmm. now. 
they're champions now. So yeah. they, they're they're approaching I, it differently. I think they could win more than fifty five. I think so. It's like what matters is the playoffs, so right. I don't know how far they're gonna get this time around, but I think they're gonna be like a great regular season team. Yeah, prior to like COVID and like the last two seasons, fifty five or higher is like the barometer of you being a mm-hmm. champion. Yeah. It's yeah. like you you never saw like a forty seven win team win a title, right? Yeah. It's always like fifty five or higher, sixty, you're like in that elite company. Yeah, I can see them getting fifty eight or like sixty in that range. No, I don't think sixty. I can see it. I can see it. I don't think so. <laughs> fifty five, yeah. Not I don't know. I think I think fifty seven to fifty eight is like the sweet spot for them. Mm-hmm. If they play a whole season, it's but there might be games where somebody rests. That's the thing with the with basketball. But yo, I There's don't think, rest games. But, yo, and, Giannis yeah. don't strike me for a guy that wants rest though. He doesn't. He like wants it all. He That's why to, he's not gonna stop. Yeah, he wants to play all the time. But he's mad Greek, bro. Like he's yeah, like, extremely Greek. He, they just, just work crazy that yeah. hard for no reason. Like, bro, take a day off. <laughs> Ew. But you know, coach might want to rest you. You might want to play, but you know, coach might have other plans. Or if if it's a random Wednesday in Detroit, like you might not need to play. You know? Nah, he's playing. So I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go slide over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say like 57. Yeah, 57 I'm with you. I'm gonna go against you guys. You can't all agree, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>